Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about how to stop escaping reality. So escaping reality comes in many forms, right? And the reason why people want to escape is because their, their real life, the things they have going on for them are usually not going well or they just don't have any goals or ambitions or motivations uh, which you know would propel them forward in a in a, a successful manner. So, you know, the reason why we see so many obese people, the reason why we see so many broke people, so many uh, people that are addicted to drugs and have just you know horrific lives, is due to the fact that they are escaping their reality, right? Uh, you know, so obviously this comes in many forms, but you know, particularly partying, drinking, pornography, video games, right? If you feel like your escape life, your partying, your your pornography, your video games is better than your career, your health, your family, your relationships, if you feel like that over does that is, that is a better experience, then you have to really consider uh, looking at your life and, and going back to the draw the drawing board and seeing what you need to change because whether we realize it or not guys when we get addicted to things it's usually because we're we're not you know obviously it comes down to it being a habit you know but what is the root reason the root reason is because we feel that we don't have any meaning we don't have any goals we don't have any purpose right and whether we realize it or not, we're here to create, we're here to achieve, we're here to experience, uh, you know, love, and we're here to have relationships and have friendships, right? So when we're not living according to what we're designed here to do, then we find ourselves in these different traps, you know, like I said, pornography, video games, uh, partying, and, you know, like I said, your life can either go forward or backwards so it's either going to be you changing for the better you know as time progresses or you're going to get worse so that's one thing in life that never changes is, is change itself change is always happening so you're either growing or you're dying so guys like i said you have to look at your life right and like i said overcoming addictions or you know not as you know not escaping your reality is something that takes work right it's not something you can just hey i'm gonna quit video games today and my life's gonna be extraordinary from now on no you're gonna have relapses you're gonna have times where you go back but over 5 10 15 20 years of you you know innovating and finding ways to to deal with your your addictions and your problems and you know also sim while also simultaneously you know creating new goals hiring mentors, learning, uh, and just overall progressing in your life, you're going to find that, you know, cause I can speak from, I can speak from experience, you know, uh, as I've, as my life has improved over the past, I'll say like five years, my pornography addiction is basically gone. My video game addiction is basically gone. And like I said, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm perfect, right? Like I may relapse once every while here and there, but it's not a it's not an escape for me anymore. It's not something I go to because my my real life is is a mess, right? So, like I said, it's it's something that you have to look at in your life and realize that your escapes will start to dwindle, will start to fade away as your life improves. So, if you feel like you're stuck right now and and trapped in these different addictions and escape escapisms, just know that, hey, it's an issue and the root cause of it is due to my lack of goals, my lack of vision, my lack of meaning, my lack of planning, strategizing and execution. So I don't know, guys, like you're all different, right? So you guys have many different goals, many different aspirations, but in general, you know, all of us have financial goals, all of us have health goals, all of us have relationship goals, all of us have investing goals, right? So figure out what you like, what you want to do, set goals, learn about it. And like I said, you'll, you'll start to over the years, right? It takes years. You can't look at your life in terms of this month, that month, you know, maybe every six months, but it's really year to year that you're going to start to really see the difference in, um, your performance and your progress when it comes to the different goals you have and, and also, um, overcoming different addictions, right? So, 
that's the reason why and that's how you overcome it over time it's not something you just quit oh i'm gonna go 30 days without uh without watching pornography or i'm gonna not play video games for 30 days um you know you can set those challenges there's nothing wrong with that but just understand that the real the real way to to defeat these addictions for good and these escapisms for good is to really create a life that you just look forward to waking up to every day and i'm not like i said happiness and and having joy all the time is nothing that's it's, it's not going to be something that you're going to have 100 percent at your disposal all the time you're never always going to be happy you're never always going to be blissful and feel like working and and you know <laughs> happy to see your girlfriend or happy to see your kids but you can for the most part ha be in a state of joy and and gratitude and peace for the most part if you put the work in if you see progress over time and by uh, as a byproduct of you creating the life you desire the the addictions and the escapisms will naturally fade away because well you just created the life you want you're in the progress and you're excited to continue to move forward and you're starting to see progress why do i need to escape now right because I have things going for me. I, I and you know it's funny. I always think about because I work at gas stations and I see you know people who buy booze and buy cigarettes and and you know I also work with people who party and I notice a commonality. It's it's they all they all have no they, there's no progress. There's no it's the same thing every day for them. They do their forty hours and it's like they know that their life isn't going to change and their circumstances will always pretty much be the same because hey guess what. I don't have any goals. I don't have a new life that I'm trying to create. And as a byproduct of that, well, the addictions and their escapisms remain because it's like, hey, I really don't have anything I'm living for besides this eight hour day that I'm about to take on. So like I said, it's it's hard and I sympathize because like I said, overcoming addictions and, and getting rid of your escapisms is, is difficult, right? It's hard, it's hard to stop binge watching Netflix or, or watching porn or playing video games or partying every weekend with your friends, right? It's difficult to overcome those things. But like I said, over time, as you create the life you want, as you, as you see progress, you're going to start to, to think like, damn, I really don't need all these things that, that I was indulging in before. So, uh, yeah, get it. Like I said, it's going to be difficult, but that's how you eventually overcome that feeling that you need to escape and 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 uh you know binge and indulge so um yeah guys that's it that's all today i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe if you have any questions comments leave them down below and as always i will talk to you guys soon peace